Trade quick tips. Sharpen your skills. In this trade quick tip video, we're going to show you how to make a simple but effective survival spear. We'll also offer some basic fire hardening techniques that will prolong the life of your spear. Stick around to the end to learn the most effective way to make this multifunctional primitive hunting tool. Along the way, we'll pass on some important safety warnings and tips. Whether you're in an authentic survival scenario or just up at the lake for a weekend camping trip, you gotta eat. But what if your food supplies are running low? Or worse, you never had any to begin with. Before we get started, you'll need a few things. First, you'll need a spear pole. We recommend a small green tree approximately 2 inches to 2.5 inches in diameter and a few inches taller than you are. We'll tell you why later in the video. While you're at it, grab a sturdy baton stick. You'll also need 2 or 3 feet of strong cordage, a folding saw, and a good full tang fixed blade knife, like our Schrade Extreme Survival Knife, SCHF9. When choosing a tree for your spear pole, choose as straight a sapling as possible. We recommend a hardwood such as hickory, oak, or maple. Once you've cut your pole, saw off the fat end so that it's square. Now, take your cordage and wrap the pole about 10 inches below the working end. This will help to keep the pole from splitting out once you begin the batoning process. For tips on batoning, see our instructional video on batoning in this series. Always be sure that your spear stands at least as tall as you do. This helps ensure that the sharpened points of your spear are above eye level, just in case you take a fall while out on the hunt. Once you've wrapped the working end of the spear with cordage, butt the opposing end up against a tree or stump to help stabilize it as you slowly baton 8 to 10 inches straight down. Turn your knife perpendicular to the first split and repeat the batoning process. Next, find a couple of 3-inch sticks about the diameter of a pencil and slide them firmly in place between the splits to keep the spear points expanded and with your knife, sharpen each of the four points. Once the points are sharp, remove the cordage and place the sharpened points below the coals of a fire for 10 to 15 minutes to speed dry or fire harden the wood. Be mindful of your spear during this process. Check it often to make sure it's only drying and not burning. An alternative drying technique is to hold your spear just above the flames of your fire, like a marshmallow, so that the flames lick the points of the spear. While this technique may take longer, it's easier to keep an eye on the spear points to make sure they aren't burning. Once the spear is removed from the fire and allowed to cool, Lash the 3 inch wooden pegs in place to reinforce the spear during impact. Align your cordage vertically against the shaft of the spear and create a loop. Next, wrap cordage around the shaft while alternating over and under the wooden pegs. After two or three times around, slip the working end of your cordage through the loop you created earlier and give a stout tug on the other end. When done correctly, this will tighten the pegs up nicely and leave you with a durable four-prong spear point. You can also opt to sharpen the other end of your spear into a single fire-hardened point for self-defense against potential predators. There you have it, a sturdy spear good for self-defense and harvesting small game and fish. Trade carries a wide variety of survival, bushcraft, and tactical knives to fit your lifestyle and budget like our Extreme Survival Knife, SCHF9, SCHF26, SCHF38, and SCHF20 Boot Knife. To check out our complete selection, visit Schrade.com. And be sure to take a look at some of our other videos in this series for more survival, camp, and bushcraft tips. But for now, go subscribe to our Schrade Knives YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button above. Like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Ways you can connect with Schrade are in the description below, along with some more great tips and relevant info. To discover more about the gear used in this video, check out the links in the video description, visit Schrade.com, or take a trip to your local outdoor gear retailer.